Infective mononucleosis is referred to as mono, is a transmittable disease. Its most common cause is the Epstein-Barr virus, but it can again happen because of other viruses. It usually occurs in teenagers, but you can see it in adults too. The virus is transmitted through saliva, which is why this disorder is also called the kissing disease. People develop EBV infection as kids of the age of 1. In tiny kids, symptoms are generally mild to non-existent that they are not identified as mono. When you suffer from an EBV infection, you are not vulnerable to get another. Any child who is infected by the EBV will be like safe from mono for the whole life. Yet, plenty of kids in the US and other developed nations don't get these infections in their initial years. As stated by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, when this disease happens 25 percent of the time when a young adult or an adolescent is infected with the virus. For this reason, mono mainly harms the college and high school students. Symptoms of mononucleosis Common symptoms of infectious mono appear after four to six weeks of infection with EBV. They grow slowly and all may not be visible at the time. However, people with swollen armpits, lymph glands in the necks, high fever, and a sore throat are believed to be infected by EBV. Most patients have mild signs and they can be resolved with minimum remedy. The infection usually is not severe and usually disappears on its own in four to eight weeks. Mono symptoms include number one, high fever, number two, extreme fatigue, number three, body aches or a headache, number four, sore throat, number five, swollen spleen or liver, number six, swollen lymph nodes in the armpit or neck, number seven, rashes, number eight, night sweats, and number nine, swollen tonsils. From time to time, your liver or spleen may also puff off, but mono is seldom ever fatal. Mono is tough to key out from the other common viruses like influenza. Suppose your signs don't get better after two weeks by the home remedies like consuming enough fluids, eating a healthy diet, resting or seeing your physician. An expanded spleen and a puffed-up liver are the least known symptoms. Sometimes the spleen or liver of people remain swollen even after their tiredness ends. Most people feel better in one month occasionally. The symptoms of mono last for six months. Transmittance EBV is the most straightforward reason for contagious mononucleosis, but other viruses can also cause this illness. Usually, the viruses disperse most commonly by body fluid particularly saliva. These viruses can also disseminate via blood or semen during blood transfusions, sexual contact, and organ transplantations. You can be open to the virus by a sneeze or cough, by kissing, or by sharing drinks or food with someone suffering from mono. You'll find the symptoms of mono after one to two months of getting infected. Mono can be easily transmitted to the other person. Risk Factors These people are high at risk if they are contact with a mono patient or share utensils or eat together. Number 1. People from 14 years to 30 years. Number 2. Medical interns. Number 3. Students. Number 4. Caregivers. Number 5. Nurses. And number 6. People who self-medicate and control their immunity. How can you prevent mononucleosis? No vaccine is available to prevent infectious mononucleosis. You can avoid kissing, sharing utensils, food, drink or personal things like lipstick, toothbrush, or lip balm with people who have infectious mononucleosis. You can prevent the symptoms of mono by getting enough rest, taking antibiotics for fever and pain, drinking enough fluids to avoid dehydration. If you are suffering from mononucleosis, don't use penicillin antibiotics. Better visit a doctor so that he can recommend the cure of a particular organ system infected because of the EBV. Anyways, let me know what you think about in the comment section below. I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Always stay tuned and subscribe to our channel by hitting the bell icon to see our latest videos. Thanks for joining us today.